We're talking with Andres Humer here at ASMS in Minneapolis, the big show for mass spectrometry. Transform your science, Andres, is the theme, and we've got some really transformative technology to talk about. We're opening a new exciting chapter in proteomics. We have learned over the last few years that uh, biology changes in small ways. And if we want to functionally understand biology, we'll have to measure small changes, relatively accurate and precise, in a biological complex system that doesn't really change that much. So we were aware of this problem, and it really pointed to the fact that we had to completely reinvent a new mass spectrometer, and that is the Orbitrip Fusion Tribrate mass spectrometer. The problem is so complex that we actually had to not only invent a new mass spectrometer, but we also had to come up with consumables that would actually try to help resolve the complexity and at the same time allow us to do accurate and precise quantitation 10 times more per experiment. And that's what really is the exciting chapter in, in proteomics. With the launch of the Orbitrip Fusion Tribrid Mass Spectrometer and the launch of the 10 mass tags, the 10 Blex, we actually can now put together 10 different samples or 10 different time points or 10 different stages of an organism and compare them all in one single experiment. So that's not only a benefit for throughput, but it also increases the accuracy and the precision with which you can actually quantify proteins. Typically around 200,000 protein quantifications in a week. And we've been making strides in proteomics also in areas like metabolomics. Can you talk about that and what this will deliver? For metabolomics, the challenge is somewhat different. Here the instrument has a capability that was never accessible before, which is the ability to do de novo structural elucidation using the various stages of mass spectrometry that Orbitrip Fusion Tribrate Mass Spectrometry provides. With the resolution of 450,000 at M over Z200, this high resolution we think will really redraw the way that people look at, for example, lipids and understand how lipids function in biological systems. I think what they should take away from this groundbreaking launch is the fact that they are now able to do functional studies. And they are able to do experiments that they were not able to do before because they can ask different types of questions from their biological systems. Because now they have the throughput, the resolution, and the accuracy they need to really get the information to understand functional biology. Learn more at thermoscientific.com slash mstransformed.